This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. How are you? It is a ramble, and uh, we go on now until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. So if you're anywhere in the world and you figure that in New York City it's uh, 10.06 in the evening, then you're listening to us live. If not, you're listening to us by delay, and that's just fine, too. Looky, 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 who's with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Hi. There, there she is. That is the, uh, that's the little woman. The one and only. The, the little woman. You don't have a sunburn anymore. Yeah, I've got scabs on my forehead. You have scabs on your forehead? Yeah. I see. Okay, so she has scabs on her forehead. I got burnt last week. What? I got burnt last week. I was only one day in the sun. Yeah. The thing is, my face never gets in the sun. I always wear a hat. And I was walking on the beach, and I sat down on the sand, and I laid down and fell asleep. And that's only the only time, and I guess because my face hasn't been in the sun, it got burnt. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. You told me I looked like a, um, what What did I look like? I don't know. You look, oh, you look like a raccoon. A raccoon, because yeah, I was wearing glasses. Well, that's glasses. what people get when they go skiing. They get raccoon face, because they wear the big goggles, goggles. and everything. And you were wearing, I guess, some sunglasses, sunglasses that covered a lot of the area. So you look like a raccoon. That's you, almost you know. gone. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I went to the dentist yesterday. Uh. To have him check out the tooth, and she looked, and she said it's not infected any longer. And there, why, why is that off? The, um, oh God, I gotta turn the light on. And why is that off? Why is that off? And why is that off? And everything to make her comfortable. Okay. Absolutely. Anyway, she said, uh, "Oh, there's the pocket is closed up there, and it's not infected, and yet I." Oh wait, 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 wait. We're doing a medical update. Yeah, I didn't my, realize my that. Where's, where's the music? Yeah, we where's, don't have medical update music. Well, we need that. That's oh, a wait big a chunk of oh, your... Hold on a second. Maybe I can come up with something to... Uh, here. And now, Alex Bennett's weekly update. Right now. The weekly update on what? On his medical conditions. On, on my medical conditions. Anyway, so that's enough of that music. Uh, so anyway, so uh, she said that's so just fine, you know. But yep, somehow when I bite down on it today, it hurts. Uh, but I, but when I rub I my when I rub it. my finger across there, there's no there's no problem. So help me, I'm fine now. Someone help me. We have please. another problem. We have another problem. It's not a problem. We have a guest. We have a guest in our house, but the guest well, is the, a the, problem. The, the, it's not a problem. You're making it a problem. We have a guest, and we're going to have a guest for a week and a half. And yeah. we've opened up our house to this guest, and, and that's the way it should be. It doesn't be. get to use the uh, guest room, does it? It can go wherever it wants. We're leaving all the doors open, We're except all for the this doors door. Open. What it is, it, it, it's a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> We're, a pussy. We're, 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 <laughs> Alex has a pussy. We're, uh, we are... Uh, cat sitting. Cat pussy si sitting. Cat, cat sitting for pussies. Uh, for this cat named Berta. Berta. And friend of ours, a friend of ours is cat, and it's Natalia's cat. And uh, so she brought her over, and the cat looked around and wandered around a little bit, you know, a little skitterish about that. And so we went in to watch some television, and then I went out looking for the cat. She disappeared. She disappeared. I don't know where the cat's gone. I would say she's probably under the sofa. You're betting under the sofa. I'm betting it's got to be under the sofa because I looked everywhere. Did you look else. under our bed? That's the only other place. Well, I didn't see the cat come in. Well, you never know. You mean it came in on little kitty? Who knows? But I think it's under the sofa. You That's think it's under the yeah, sofa? it's comfortable. It's dark. You, know? you think it can fit under there? It's, oh yeah. It's only about this much. Well, uh, the cat's only that much. Yeah, I guess. I guess. But uh, the cat is. It has either left the house. Somehow. No. There's no way. There's no way. And what we did is we kitty proofed the apartment. She could be behind the screen. That's also another like cave place. What, what screen? Oh, screen. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's, that's a nice little safe place. It's got yeah. 
But we, we kitty proof the uh, the uh, the windows. Windows we put up window there were screens. Some window screens they had for this apartment, which are, you know, I saw some really cool ouais. ones on Amazon that were cheap that are louvers. They don't have a screen; they just a louver. I like screens. No, but the louver will keep the rain out too. See. When the cat goes, the wind, the screens are going too. I don't want to keep screens in. Right. I just keep the windows open. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I'm worried that the kitty has disappeared. Well, I'm sure she'll show up in a day or two. How how do cats do that? How do they manage to just disappear? They find a nice little cave. Yeah. Dark place, and they go in and because I knew on. that would happen in this place. When I, always, I when I when I always when I had a, a place that was like a bed one bedroom apartment, I could pretty well figure out where the cat was. But they can disappear in a one bedroom apartment too. Yeah, but I mean this place is huge. Yeah. Okay, and there are so many nooks and crannies. Well, and she'll just. She's not in the kitchen. She's not in the pantry. Just let she's her be. Not in the other bathroom. Let her be. Where we put her poopy box. Just let her be. She'll come out. You know, if if they if they don't come back in a week and a half to claim that cat, I'm renaming it. <laughs> I like Berta. <laughs> Berta. Berta. Well, it was, it name was uh, somebody named the cat Albert, thinking it was a guy. How you figure? It, look at that and say it's a guy. And then she said that uh, they then changed it to Alberta, and, and then she they just call, it to call it Berta. So. Berta. Anyway, we're babysitting a cat, and I and I. You know, I miss not having a cat. I love cats because cats make a house feel comfortable because they're so comfortable. Well, unless they're skittish, scared shitless like <laughs> this cat is right now. You got to realize this is quite a thing for her. Her owner brought her here and left, and she's in a new environment, new people, new everything. Yeah, yeah. And you watch in a week and a half, she won't want to go back. <laughs> She'll go, I, I can run a half a block in this apartment, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But we'll have to wait and see what happens, pretty much, I guess. So, anyway. So, I, 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 let's see here. Am I depressed today? No. Not particularly depressed. It's the tooth is, yeah. I keep, you see, here's the reason why I'm imagining my tooth is bothering me, because she said, one more time, we can do the antibiotics. Then we're going to have to pull help the me. tooth. We're going to have help to pull me. the tooth. Please help so me. So now, if she hadn't said Please. that, I'd think everything was fine with the Someone tooth. Someone help me. It's like every time I see the lawyer, I come back with 8,000 questions about what he said or didn't say. Oh, you're driving me crazy. You know that. I think you should save all this for when I go to bed. Uh, Your audience will appreciate it. Well, I, you know something. It's got. It, it, isn't it just getting to be a little long with this uh, with this whole court battle? Oh, I thought you were going to say, aren't you getting to be a little too much? Well, I know I'm too much, <laughs> and I. <laughs> I know that I'm too much. How? By the way, how do you like this shirt? You know what I feel I look like if it were yellow and black, I'd look like Charlie Brown. Right, it's, it's, it's a Charlie Brown type shirt, right? It's not. Charlie Brown had a shirt that was like this, except yellow and 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 black. Those are my high school colors. What? Yellow and black. Really? Orange oh. and black. Oh, I see. Well, this is orange and bl and blue. Kind of blue, yeah. Like steel gray. Steel gray. But anyway, so um um uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. So, uh, oh yeah. So I just, I'm so tired of this. Do you know we are coming up on August? And that will be, well, actually, we've already gone three years on this thing. Because yeah. when we stopped uh, giving him money because he didn't deserve it, was about two months, sh uh, four months short of 36 months. So August, you have to go back four months. We've been going on that long with this. Do you know what the depositions were a year ago? Are you serious? I think so. I think it was in August. Wow. And it just goes on and on. And now uh, the guy want first the guy wanted a jury trial. The judge finally ruled on that and said, no fuck jury. You. No, fuck you. No jury <laughs> trial. Now he wants a, a motion for dismissal. Right. Summary, a, a summary judgment. In other words, give it to me. I deserve it. Right. And there are too many things that are in question for that to happen. So, but we have to go down and file an affidavit, and we have to sign it. We have to get it notarized. And we're probably going to have to do it again. It looks like. 
He'll email it to us. He's got our signature. Then we'll go down the street to wherever. No, he's a notary. He is a notary. He has to see me. He has to see us sign it. He saw us sign it already. Yeah, well, so there. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, anyway, enough. Enough with your illness. But no, so enough anyway, with the lawyers. No, 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 no. But all I'm saying ah. is, enough is enough already. You know? Yes, Alex. I enough mean, is enough. Uh, I, I, I said to him, "Is this another three years?" He says, "Nah, I think within a year at the latest, this thing will be over." With. So there you go. So that would be four years of this hey. Michigas. Not bothering me. I'm drinking Starbucks tonight. Hey, I drink it every morning. Verona. Do they have Verona where you go? I don't know. I drink Pike. I have Pike here. If you ever want Pike, I I can make you a big hot steaming cup of Pike. I have it at 5.30 in the morning, and that's my only coffee. Tell tell me about you with with Starbucks. You you know, you are the oldest lady I know, because you are so set in your ways that everything has to be precisely the way she likes it, or she goes nuts. I mean, it drives me crazy. And your point is? I'm not that way. <laughs> I can go with the flow. Uh, yeah, right. Real, real, real flexible. Really, what kind of habit do I have where I have to go to Starbucks every single morning to get a cup of coffee? Uh, why don't we turn where, it on? Where I, I, don't, I, I don't say, you know, Alex went out and he got this, uh, this uh, Keurig. And then it broke, and he went and got us another Keurig for free from uh, from Costco. And it, 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 he has Pike's Brew. I can make my coffee here. Well, I can drink fine. it before I go to work. No, you've got to go into that place. You don't understand the ritual. What do you mean I don't understand the ritual? You don't understand it. What do you mean? I, how, how do I not understand the ritual? You're not at home, so you're not thinking about what has to be done here. I'm not in the office. I don't have to think. It's my time. I have my coffee. I have my paper. And it's my time. I don't have to talk to anybody. I don't have to do anything in the apartment or in the office. It's my time. It's your time. It's the only thing that my father and I had in common. My father used to do it every t- day, too. It's well, just my time. Your time. Yeah. I don't have to deal with you. I don't have to deal with my office. You don't have to deal with me at all anyway. You're never here. I like that. No. I know, it's like you don't want to be with me. And your point is? No, I'm serious. <laughs> I feel you don't want to be with me. Well, I don't like being with a grouchy person. I'm not grouchy. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean, no, You, you. every day you've got something that doesn't get you home till like six o'clock. You're either going to the gym or you know maybe maybe you've got a lover somewhere you got a lover somewhere maybe. is that what, is that what's happening maybe well i know you can't have a lover somewhere because you'd be a lot in a lot better mood <laughs> i think than, you need a lover than you are because you're in a terrible mood all the time what do you mean i'm in a terrible mood you all are the time? you're nasty I'm in a very good mood you are nasty i am in a much better mood these days since not as much hurts me He's looking for the next ailment. No, well, no. Well, I'll tell you what happened. It's ten eighteen. I'm well, just saying. I watch the clock. <laughs> I know what's going on. I'm See, just... she, she's trying to get rid of me again, ladies That's and gentlemen. Right. She's trying to get rid of me. There we go. Okay. Why are we even married? I don't know. You know, people say they love this portion of the show when we when we do this thing. Help every me! Week. Help me! When we do this little goofy get together, why? I don't know why we do this. Why I have no idea. So anyway, I've been playing with this new thing. See, I, I it's the live stream thing. Yeah, well, you see, here's here's what it was, folks. I've been using live stream, and I've been paying forty nine bucks a month for nothing. So I figured when I got Facebook Live, I went, what do I need live stream for? And I wrote him a big letter, and I said, you know what you really should do. You should, number one, I can use a thing called OBS that allows me to send the signal out with nice picture and graphics and things like that. And uh, it's free. And Facebook Live is free. So why do I need you? And the guy said, well, nice doing business with you. And I just never got around. To, uh, every month uh, they would come, they'd uh, put the $45 on my card, and I forgot it. So anyway... I was going to get rid of it this month. In fact, I was going to get rid of it the other day. And the next day, they send out something saying, 
we're giving away our seven hundred and fifty dollar uh, broadcasting well, studio. Well, did you write a letter? Yeah, yeah. But our studio program, we're giving that away for free, and that will allow you to put your show on GabNet, uh, not on GabNet, but on uh, on on live stream, and uh, any other thing like Facebook Live cool. or True, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 iTunes, I, uh, YouTube, you know, things like that. Not no, not iTunes. Uh, and so I said that they, they took my suggestion to heart. They did. So I've been sitting here playing with the studio, and it, it really is very good. But it's got a problem. I can't get the Skype on it. In other words, what I do here... Isn't your whole what, program what, Skype? What happens? It, OBS Studio disconnected and is reconnecting. What is that all about? Cheese almighty. What's OBS? The, that's my uh, my thing. It's uh, it does the uh, the thing. Oh, it, it it went right back and is that the Facebook? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the uh, it, it it is. But wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, the, yeah, you're moving. Okay. Um, uh, it, it it for some reason uh, it uh, the OBS is turning itself on and off tonight. But I don't think it, it doesn't stop streaming and it doesn't stop recording, so I imagine the recording is okay. Don't touch that, please. Um, uh, so I'm hoping that that's working okay. But anyway, it doesn't, it, the, the thing is, it doesn't do Skype. It does have a thing, however. But your whole program is Skype. I know. It does have a thing where I could call people to do interviews. I could actually send you an email, it has a link. Then you could, if, you've got, it. if you've got Chrome, um, uh, Google Chrome uh, all you do is double click on that and it brings it up on Google Chrome and if you've got a camera and all of that it just sends me a signal that you're on and I can just click you on and put you on my thing it's very simple to, but why doesn't it do Skype when Skype is well, your program? It, it doesn't do Skype because what happens what I what I do for Skype here is I take a certain uh, uh, chunk of Skype, as it were, uh, that goes on the screen, and I and I literally um, uh, make it into a uh, I take the whole screen, that screen, and I can get it on on here. I don't know how to explain it to you. Okay. And then I simply. So then you can work Skype. Well, with OBS, but not with. Uh, what does OBS stand for? Uh, uh, open, open Broadcast Software. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's free and it's good but tonight it is cutting off it's saying it's disconnecting and then it's saying it's reconnecting you have dribble on your pants no I don't what's I, that I, that's like some chocolate or something <laughs> he's what? an old man he's drooling we're getting to the drooling stage <laughs> no I think it's maybe some food or something that kind of, anyway but. <laughs> isn't it fun getting older <laughs> not with you uh, but anyway, so tonight uh, you may occasionally see the picture go off or something because OBS OBS says it disconnects and then it reconnects. It's so, like our television, the way it like goes off and comes I don't, on. No, this this thing is different. I hope it's not screwing up tonight. I just hope it's not screwing up tonight. But anyway, it's so, time. So I have no idea why it's doing that tonight. Hmm. Anyway, we'll hope it won't do it anymore. Uh, you know, you still got six more minutes to talk to me. <laughs> you know, she so so hates to talk to me under normal circumstances that when it's here, the faster it can be over with, the better. <laughs> Don't we have our daily meetings in the living room? <laughs> Don't we have our little chats every evening? That lasted for about a minute and a half, didn't yes. it? Yes, not even a minute and a half. Not even a minute and a half. Anyway. So uh, see my lines. What? Uh, yeah, your lines. <laughs> from, yeah, she she has a tan line, and it's it's right across my leg. Yeah, in the old days, you wouldn't have had that problem because you would have been wearing a bikini or something, and you would have had a very nice even tan. I went from bikinis to one piece, and from one piece to jog pants. <laughs> no, I mean what? Well, I wear jog pants when I go on the beach. You, you no, you wear shorts. Yeah, but they're jogging. Those aren't jogging yes, pants. Yes, they are. Is, are these jogging pants? No, but mine are. Mine are. are but, these jogging pants? No, but mine are. By the way, my belt is on. Uh, 
Yeah, don't sit on the bed with that belt. Huh? He buys these really cheap belts, and then he sits on the no, bed. I don't buy and then, cheap and, belts. And, and, I, and then there's like a pattern of the belt on on the bedspread. I I uh, got those at Costco. Those are very high quality belts. <laughs> right. Well, what, what do you want me to do? Spend a hundred dollars on a belt? No, so it but won't... just don't wear them when you get in bed. See everything. You see, well, you, that, 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 you, you've, I'm living in a prison here. No, you're not. I you, am living in a fucking prison. He gets it, in bed no, with these no, cheap no, belts, no. and then there's a big line well, well, of black me, shoe polish. To begin with, I have to make the bed every day. Yeah, and your point is? And my point is that I sometimes, in the old days, wouldn't make my bed for three weeks. Well, that's the old days <laughs> and i changed the sheets when i started sticking to them. well that's the old days those days are no gone, that's just kiddo. being a guy those in days apartment. are long gone you know but no everything has to be your way exactly your way what, what are the options you make the bed or you don't make no the bed. but i you no, make that okay, bed okay forget the bed part of it and there, you said you like making there, there the bed. Other, uh, and you like taking the dishes out of the dishwasher i like taking you i do like taking the dishes out of the dishwasher so those are the only two chores them, he has and putting them away the, the two chores is to make the bed and take the dishes oh, out of the dishwasher who, who managed to get electricity for the uh, air conditioning away from a circuit but that wasn't your Sure, that was something you elected to do. Oh, I see. The, there. So my chores are to, to make the bed. And take the, the, dishes, take out. the dishes out of I the mean, dishwasher. Who does the... It used to be, you wrote me a note about it, and if it said, would you please uh, uh, clean out the uh, dishwasher? And by the way, I love you. <laughs> now, I don't get nothing, man. <laughs> she comes home, she goes, why are these dishes still in the dishwasher? Because you didn't write me a fucking note. Okay. I did write you. By fucking the way, I also washed them the other night. Hey, I do the laundry. Oh, uh, boy, that's difficult. Well, I do it. I take the garbage out. I do a lot of stuff too. You know, that's difficult. So I anyway. decide I'm not going to cook anymore. You haven't cooked since we since got you, gas put on. You haven't cooked I haven't since cooked since you went on your diet. Huh? Since you went on your diet. Since I went on my diet. Yeah. Because no, you don't no. eat the soups and you don't eat the stews. No, you were cooking like crazy till the gas went out. Was I? Yeah, you haven't made anything. It's summer. I mean, the only thing you've made, actually, is when I brought home some of that uh, salmon from Costco with the pesto sauce on it. <laughs> I put it in the oven. You know, but what, what have I done twice? What did I do last night? What, it, the, I've pr hey, perfected. I, I think you should take over cooking. I, may, I well may do it. Yeah. Because last, the last two times, I have finally Just figured out. Just don't make them every week. No, but I make the perfect rack of ribs. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And when Carlos and his girlfriend comes for lunch, yeah. you're going to make them next week. And what I did, part of the reason they're great is because I'm not buying the ribs any longer at Costco. Thank I'm you. buying them at this cheap little. Just a grocery fi store. Fine fair grocery, it's a grocery store. store. And they have like a slab, and there's just you know it's just enough for the two of us. Yeah, okay. we we'll have to get double for them. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I if you want my recipe, I'll give it later on in the show. I make just a great rack of ribs. You do, you do, and don't say I don't compliment you. You do, you make a great rib. That's in fact, I've got to ask. I got to invite Shecky over for ribs. Yes, you do. Because Shecky sends away for ribs. He loves ribs just like I do. I could eat ribs every night. The problem is they get stuck in your teeth. Well, they they, but, do. We, but we've got the water pick. Well, we love the water pick. It's true. It's true. Right? We I absolutely think love watching all that food come out. The world of the water pick. It's true. Anyway. So, uh, I know. Okay, I know. I'm, just, I'm finishing can this Can I roll off. over? Yeah. So, anyway, we got the water pick, and you get the rib stuff in there. And, the, and what <laughs> it you It just do, flies wait, out. Wait, wait a minute. You look forward to getting the, the ribs stuck in your teeth. Because now you can go use the water pick, and you always like to see how much crap can come flying out of my teeth. You know, when I was a kid, it was just corn. Yeah. And now it's like entire meals. No, I never had a water pick because I didn't like the ones with the tank. And yeah, that's what had I had, the ones with the this tank. This is like a portable thing. You just fill it with water. And <laughs> that's it. You know. Sometimes I don't put the top on right. And, and it, it squirts all over squirts my on. face. <laughs> oh, well, you're used to that. Anyway. Uh, I'm uh, going to bed. Uh, uh, can you, I say good night, everyone? Minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. I don't want to be here. You, you, you don't want to be here? Is that, your, is that your latest thing? Well, come on over 
and can uh, I roll uh, over? Uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah roll you can roll over. over. Roll, roll me over. Roll, 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 roll me over. Let me, let me say. There we go. See, she's here. Okay, now let me uh, let me see here. Let me take the panel. Put this up here. And we're ready to go. Okay, let me turn on the uh, Skype, see if anybody wants to call tonight. We've had a low listening levels lately. It's summer. Is it summer? Yeah. Is it the summer thing? Is that what it's all about? Okay. Anyway, let me put the microphone a little bit this way so that you can, uh, you can uh, uh, have it. Okay? All right. And uh, uh, remind people how to call which is we use a thing called Skype. You go to Skype.com, download the program. Very easy to install. Oh, look who's starting off tonight. Uh, Scott Boddicker. Scott. Scott. Oh, and says. by the way, it's going to be a feel-free night tonight. So it's oh, a... Oh, thank God! Yeah. <laughs> thank, no, no, no. Uh, 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 Scott, give us a picture, will you? Uh, he said... He said Can I shut the sound off? Huh? Your sound's fine. Your sound is fine. We're just looking for a picture from you here. Okay, just a second. Let me. Uh, yeah, because all we've got, the, all it's we've got Trump. is the, uh, all we've got is your Trump, up there. The uh, Trump's up there. Yeah, I yeah. changed it. Oh well, uh, apparently. Uh, uh, my penis is this big, big fully, fully erect, erect. It says. Oh, I changed. Now I, I must, I must have to re re reboot. You might have. Oh, there it goes. Wait a minute. It started to go. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. but you uh, turn on. No, your... I, I put my I put my uh, just a regular photo back on there. I thought, but I guess yes. it didn't update. But, yeah, but uh, where are you? But, but, but wait a minute. But, but you turn, see me? Turn no. on your camera. It is. Oh, let me cycle it again. Okay, there we go. Now yeah. it cycled, and then it didn't. It didn't happen. Well, let's hang up on you, and then uh, call back. you, you, okay. can, you okay. can call back. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. Okay. Where, so we're going to we're going to sit here. Tw oh twiddling our thumbs here while we wait for him to call us back. Uh, Phil is not call is not going to be is here it a tonight. Feel free it's night? a feel free so night. So feel free to call. So feel free to call exactly. Um, but he uh, um, is. Uh, let's see here. Miss a missed call from who? I don't see that. Huh? Somebody. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Okay, so we're waiting for Scott to call back. <laughs> Here we go. Now here here comes Scott again. All right. And there is his and there he uh, is. Uh, you see? Hi Scott. See? Now Scott last night was making a big deal out of the fact he's got hair. That was two nights ago. I didn't call him last night. I was sick. Call? Oh, it was the uh, night before. What were you sick you with? You do have hair. You have lots of hair. Look at that. Uh, allergies. Okay. They are just driving me crazy. Oh, I I'm suffering. I take a shot oh. twice a day. Oh, do you? It, yeah, I, I just, it just, I'm just, they wipe me out if I don't. So I took a pill. I, I delayed taking my pill so I'd stay awake for the couple of shows here. Yeah, but but wait a minute. So so um, oh, hold on a second. She takes a shot twice a day, but she, it, I I didn't know heroin was supposedly good <laughs> for for hey. allergies. But maybe you just don't give a shit whether you've got allergies or not. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Good evening. It's Jeff Stein, ladies and gentlemen, who, by the way, you got to admit, he's got a really cool beard. He does. You know, do you, do you trim that a lot? Do you, do you work with it? Does, do you go to a barber and he does it for you? Do you do it yourself, right? Okay, so what, uh, how, uh, you use the, uh, the beard trimmer thing? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, what number is it on? For your beard i usually use it at two. Oh, really that's yeah. that's kind of down there because you look like you have kind of you don't have a full beard you know you don't have like you know david letterman, cool. <laughs> no, <laughs> david letterman. Yeah. i'm saying good night i'm doing an early thing tonight okay huh? I have to. I'm just too tired. Yeah, well, then I have to get up at the same time you do because you just. I'm stuck. It, I know you're. Just hold on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh boy! I can't I leave. To, I have to go look at for our visitor. We have a visitor that's hiding somewhere. Yeah. And if if we, you find the cat, let me know. And if he. I'm just it, afraid I'm gonna find the dead cat. It, we, yeah. There's nothing worse than cat sitting somebody's cat and then saying, "Sorry to tell you, but your cat, cat died." died. Ah, did did you what? check the sidewalks? 
Uh, no, well, we we put up these uh, we <laughs> put up these screens. we put up screens in the windows so that we can keep the windows open because it's hot. But we're up on the eighth floor, and I don't want the cat jumping out the you know accidentally jumping out the window because then, you know, you have to say to the person, "Did you ever? Did you notice your cat was visibly depressed?" <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's an old story. Uh, uh, the guy who originally <laughs> said that was Truman Capote, because he told the story. I think it was on like the Jack Parr show or whatever on the Tonight Show. That he uh, he went out with a woman once, and uh, he uh, he uh, uh, he went over to her house, and she says, "I'll be ready in a moment." And she was in the in her bedroom getting ready, and this dog comes over. This little puppy is little small dog and uh it's got a ball in its mouth and it drops the ball at his feet so he figures ah right, well you know he wants the ball so he throws the ball and the ball bounces around the room and the dog you know how they go they scurry and everything and he gets the ball and he brings it back to capote and capote does it again and once again the the dog uh, goes and bounces around the room and gets the ball and then he throws the ball, and somehow it goes out the open window in a 16-story building. And the dog goes flying out the window after it. And, and, and I think it was Parr or whatever said, so what did you do? He said, I didn't mention anything. She came out. We, I said, dinner awaits. We went to dinner, and over dinner I said to her, I said, have you noticed your dog is looking a little depressed lately? <laughs> So that's where I stole the line from. That's yeah. a good one. So uh, it, it may be just the two, the, the three of us tonight. It's been... No Phil. The, that's great. No I'm Phil. So maybe the three of us. Nobody wants to call. Hey, folks, it's no Phil. Do you know what that means? That means you can get a word in edgewise. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I hate to talk shit about him while he's gone but it's best time to do it yeah. uh <laughs> he does dominate he does dominate he does dominate but the i mean he's good but he's dominant you no know, yeah. but the reason he dominates and the reason i let him is because basically outside of patrick who is much more reasonable as a human being uh uh i have been uh i, I i'm like uh I feel he gives balance, you know, and, and and creates a certain angst. I wish I wish we had a couple of more right wing people on the show. Then we could all yell and scream at each other and threaten each other's lives and so on, you know. My wife thinks that uh, that you actually pay him a little bit, Phil. That I invent, just, yeah. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> that I invented Phil. You invented him. Yes. Yeah. He's well, really artificial. Well, people say, I can't listen to that show because Phil's on it. Well, you know, I mean, most nights there are eight other people who aren't Phil, you know? And uh, uh, I, I always found that kind of wrong. What, you can't listen to a guy with a different opinion than yours? That, that's fun, you know? know. That's yeah. great. Yeah. So, anyway. So, we need more calls from people. Uh, Keith, where are you? Where's Brian? Where's, uh, well, Brian's probably delivering a heart somewhere or a lung. Maybe he's delivering a heart to Phil. <laughs> it could be. Could be. Um, so, uh, anyway, so you say, so, so you, what, what are you allergic to in particular? What's in bloom out there that's, that's giving you so much trouble? Well, it's just, it's just, uh, the, grasses and ragweed or what i don't know if it's ragweed out here but i've been doing i've got back from vacation and i'm doing a lot of yard work outside and it's just it's just getting to me too much oh, being out there i see okay well that makes that makes some semblance yeah. of sense yeah and it's so hot you can only do it for like an hour before you just pass out almost but <laughs> how hot is it in texas right now it they did they did hit 100 today Really? It hit triple digits, yeah. We hit, um, we had a real hot day yesterday. It was like 95 maybe, and a lot of humidity. And today it's gone kind of the other direction, uh, and it's really kind of nice. Here comes Rob Alfano, ladies and gentlemen, uh, who will be joining us any second. There's his photograph, and there's his picture live, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> 
Anyway. Scott, uh, wasn't it hot enough when you lived in Iowa? It was uh, in Iowa. It was. It also got into the 90s and whatnot. But strangely, it's very strange because with all that cornfields, uh, you lived in Iowa for a while. Yeah. It's, it's just thinking. as humid in Iowa as it is on the coast. I mean, we get they get humidity in the you know 60, 70, 80 percent, just because of all the corn is sucking all the water out of the air and it's just it's just coming out. That damn it's corn. The water out of the ground. That damn fucking the corn. Thing. The nerve of the corn. I know, and, well, I, hate, and I hate those. I hate those. I hate those children that go along with them. Children of the corn. Yeah, children of the corn. Um, so anyway, so I was playing around today with this thing with uh, with uh, live streams studio program, and they've got a thing where, like, for instance, if I want to talk to you, Rob, I want to do an interview with you or something, I simply send you an email, and it's got a link. And you go to your Chrome. You have to do it on Chrome. Uh, do you have Chrome, Rob? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and then uh, you simply double click on the link, and then to go start, uh, put in your name, say start interview, and it comes up on this. It comes up on this program, and I can bring you in like your remote camera. Cool. You know, but I couldn't. But the trouble is, I couldn't do this show that way because I could only talk to one person at a time. But I might be able to, for instance, do an interview with, say, Stephen Pearl without just doing the audio. I could probably do the video as well. So uh, it's 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 not a bad little. Uh, it's, uh, they can't. finally live stream made the forty nine ninety five a month worth something, you yes. know. And if I were to use it to do the show, uh, all I do is push one button, say stream, and it goes to it goes to live stream and it goes to Facebook Live at the same time. So it's not it's, using it tonight. No, I'm not using it because I can't put the live. I can't put the uh, Skype on it. There's oh, no, so there's no way to put Skype on it. That's right. That's the problem. Uh, and um, uh, I could do it uh, by doing the whole screen here. But I the trouble is I only have one screen I do this on. I would need two screens so that I can then block off part of the screen and put you guys on. That's the way I would do it. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna, if, if I moved everything over, maybe I'd be able to put a second screen in here or something. But, uh, it's, you know. But anyway, um, so uh, uh, let me see. Is there anything to talk about? I'm, I'm trying to think. Of the, so, uh, it, well, I, we, we, as I say, we're, we're cat sitting. And, oh really? Yeah, and and the cat came over, and she brought the cat over, and the cat looked around and wandered around a little bit, you know, to check stuff out. And then we went to watch television in the bedroom, and I went back into the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, the pantry, the bathroom, and I can't find the cat anywhere. Yeah, he's just hiding somewhere. It, it, pro uh, probably, probably. Yeah. Her cats don't like change. Oh, they all can be, tell me about it. So he's just probably, she's probably just found a nice quiet place and parked herself she there. Probably, she probably oh, come times. What? Depends on the kind of cat. Tops of no, 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 I don't think this doesn't look like a climbing cat. I think she's probably under the couch in the bedroom. That's our best <clears> guess <throat> because I looked everywhere. She's not anywhere. <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I, How long are you going to have the cat? Uh, for a week and a half, and I, I wonder if the cat can stay disappeared for a week and a half. <coughs> wow, well, it's gonna have to eat. Yeah, they'll Oop. come when they're hungry. They'll finally come out, and you know when they want companionship and they want to get pet. You know, um, but uh, but this is better than if if she. Well, I was thinking this was better than if she stayed in the house all alone, and uh, where they were stay in the house all alone, and. Um, it just uh, you know has somebody come in like once a day to feed them or something like that. Um, this it's, a, it's a tough call because it's stressful for them. It's the other way they're not stressed. What other way? Uh, if they stay home, you know, and they're yeah. in their own environment, they're not stressed. So right now she's stressed. Yeah, and that's but why she does have companionship here. She does have people looking after her. You know, there is right. there is some human contact. You know, it's not like you're sitting in this apartment all day long alone. 
So, and I think she's used to having somebody around the house. So, I don't know. I just thought it would be better for the cat. Maybe you're right. Maybe it should have been the other way. We just should have gone over and fed the cat, you know. It depends on, like I said, it depends on the cat. depends on the age of the cat. Like, I have one, my young one, Jack, he would be fine at your apartment because he's really friendly and outgoing and he's really got a, a head of steam on him, you know. And uh, he's like a real alpha male. And then the other one, she would not do well at your house. She would be – she's timid. Here, she's timid. Imagine yeah. in a strange environment. So it, it just depends on the personalities. Is that the big fluffy one? They're both big. I mean, you yeah. know, I have two. They're both rag dolls, and the, the, the one-year-old is is uh, about 14 pounds now. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he's he's just really a real like a little boy at this point, very precocious, very out in front, very, you know, he walks around like he owns the place and and he he's constantly teasing the old lady, the the 12 year old. Yeah. You know, he wants to play and she's like, get the fuck away from me. And she's constantly hissing at him. And uh, it's that's comical to watch. Well, she, he sneaks up on her and he he, he uh, you know, he, he ambushes her. Like he'll come up to her behind and he'll just come up on top of her and whap. Well, with what you paw what you've got back. there what you've got there is a veritable kitten. Yeah, he's and a, a baby. And, and then a really older cat. Right. And the older cat doesn't want the intrusion of that younger cat who's jumping, pouncing, uh, right. playing with a ball of yarn, doing whatever a young it cat too. does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah, it's, it's it, comical to watch. Yeah, and it's the same way in which kids annoy us, right? True. Absolutely. The same thing. I had a great-grandmother who reminds me of my old cat. She used to yell and scream at all the kids running around in Italian, you know. And that's like this cat, you know. It was like yeah. the old cat. She's just screaming at him all the time, hissing at him. <laughs> well, and I, she looks miserable when he comes around. You know what bothers me are parents who don't keep their kids uh, in... How can Cages. I put, huh? Cages. <laughs> what, what, we, what, we, what was the word I never didn't hear? What? Cages. cages. Oh, cages, yeah. They don't no, keep their kids they, in cages. They, they, they don't teach their kids any of the niceties of being a human being. You know? And 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 so we've got... Uh, you, know, you got people, for instance, on the subway, and the kids are making noise and whatever. I mean, if I had a kid, I would say, hey, you know, no. You, you know, the, it, it, subway voice, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. But our parents, they just don't seem to really discipline their kids or, or, or try and teach them the sociability of being a human being around other human beings. So... Yeah, you know, I think part of that is because they spend so little time with them because everybody's working that when they're with them, they don't want to discipline them. They want to be their friend. Now, I, you know, I've never been a parent, and neither of you, Rob. Uh, no, certainly but Jeff, I know how I was raised. Jeff and Scott have had the experience, uh, and uh, the experience is it, it, you have a tendency with this experience uh, to um, uh, understand, I guess, what it is to raise a kid, but to me... Uh, if I had a kid, I would make sure that he was very well behaved and I'd teach him how to be well behaved and saying in certain situations you do this and in these situations you don't. But these parents today think you have a kid, it comes out of your vagina and you just let it run rampant. Am I sounding like an old man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yes. Am yeah, you're sounding old fashioned because today it's about not stifling their kids' creativity, right? You let them, you know, you know the, well, like I, you said, you go to, you go into a, a restaurant today. When I was a kid, my parents would tell us we're going out to a restaurant and you need to sit down in your chair. This is not home. You need to behave. Yep. You need to keep your voice in check. That's right. And if not, I'm going to take you out of there. Yeah. Before we went in, that's what we were told. And then if you started to act up. Dad would give you that look, hey, and you would back off. Yeah, and that was it. Yeah, and you didn't run around. Today, kids run around from table to table, and they get crazy. And well, what is that? Yeah, what is that? So anyway, so I, I, you know, I, I, and also when I hear kids crying, 
Like, mm-hmm. it, it, here's the one I hate. They start crying in a movie theater. And the mother, rather than pick up the baby and take him out of the theater, are there trying to stop them from crying. So they just keep crying. That's Get true. your fucking baby out of the theater until it stops crying. Right. And I got why, to... why is a baby in a movie theater? Well, that's the other question. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not the baby's fault. Oh, I mean, it, listen, parents. a crying baby almost ruined Deep Throat for me once. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did the kid like it, though? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But the thing is that. He that, really know, got into the breast sucking scene. Also, am I right or wrong? You guys are both, were both fathers. And by the way, more callers, please. Where are you tonight? I'll, I'll gripe about this, and then by the end of the show, we'll have a full house. Um, is this Jason's night? I thought Jason. No, no Jason. Baby's last no, it's every other week. And he was last week? Yeah. Okay. And she was, was also On away. Thursday or something, wasn't Yeah, he but he was away. She hated two nights because the wife was away. J- oh. Jason. Pussy whip Jason, we like to call him. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Where's Phil tonight? Where's Phil? Phil's, Phil's not, not here. Jason's allowed. Yeah, this is a, this is a Phil free Four. night. This is the night everybody should call. You can get a word in edgewise. Anyway, <clears throat> where was I? Oh, um, Talking about uh, kids. Yeah. Um, I think that when kids cry a lot, it's the fault of the parent. Because I think what happens is every time the kid cries, he gets a reward. You know, the, the tries to pacify him with some candy or give him to do this or do that. I think if a kid wants to cry, you just don't pay attention to the crying unless, you know, somebody's kidnapping him or something like that. And and you you let him learn that crying doesn't get him anything. And I think these kids think crying gets them something, gets them some kind of attention. You know, am I right or am I wrong? Two guys who were pa- fa- fathers. You are right, sir. You are correct. Is that what you did with your kids? Is, is, uh, well, hmm. when my kids wouldn't, uh, uh, they got corrected. My kids were very good. Yeah. They, when they misbehaved, they got corrected. Yeah. Much to the chagrin of my wife, but, you know, it's it's like we were in, uh, uh, I, I want to say, I think it was like some department store. It might have been like a, a Sam's or something. Yeah. And. She, she was, you know, about, I don't know, four or five, and my oldest daughter, and she was hanging on to the shopping cart and riding on the front. And it clearly states on that thing, kids, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, I said, you can't do that. You got to get off. No, I don't. Yeah, and so I took her off there. And then she started crying like a, a banshee, right? Like, you know, I just picked her up and I was walking her out to the store, right, to get her out of there. And some lady came up to me like I was beating the hell out of my kid or something like that. It's like, or I, she said something to me, but, but I was in such a kind of a, a funk that I, I just kind of glared at her and she walked away. But, uh, but I got my kid out of there when the kid wouldn't behave properly. And it was like, it was just a, it's like a grocery store or Sam's warehouse or whatever, but you know, yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they got, they were disciplined. Well, what I hate is when I'm in a in a place like Costco and somebody's got a kid riding in the cart. Now mm-hmm. that would be okay if it's a baby, but this is like a kid who could walk next to you. Yeah. You know yeah. what are you doing, wheeling this kid around? You know, and they're taking up the whole cart. Yeah. yeah. Put your shit. Yeah. Yeah. Here, hold the eggs. You know. <laughs> but I so I mean. I think Rob and I, as two guys who've never had kids, suffer from parents who do a lousy job. Well, if you like, I'll send you a couple of kids, like for over a week or so, and you could... uh... Uh, But you see, I can get them anyway, because they're in those carts at, like, the supermarket. And I no, can just the, I can just wheel them away. Twenty four hours a day. Yeah, that's what you. Wait, somebody just kidnapped my baby. He was in the cart. Well, he was on wheels. Okay. <laughs> you know, it, it was it, it it was a an act of convenience. Okay. So anyway, oh. I have enough with the cats. Y- y- yep. Yeah. Yeah. I have, enough have you ever cats. tried to correct somebody else's kid though? No, oh, no, that's no, boy, that, no, no, that's no. like a you could get into a lot of trouble. Even even when I went out with somebody 
who had kids, I would never correct them about oh. anything. Because, I, was, because I, was at a, that, I was at a basketball game one time, and this kid kept running up and down the bleacher behind me. Okay? You know, and the mother kept saying, Jeffrey, sit down. Jeffrey, sit down. Jeffrey, and Jeffrey wouldn't fucking sit down, right? <laughs> and this kid kept running up and down behind me and kept bumping into me, too. You know, as he'd go by me. He was right on the bleacher behind me. And finally, I just moved up one bleacher. Okay? He couldn't run behind me because I was on, like, the top bleacher then. Right. So then Jeffrey started walking towards me, and I just looked at him. I said, "No," like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that mother, that mother, that mother about had a conniption fit. Right? <laughs> Don't you talk to my boy that way? I said, "If you can't control your kid, I will." Yeah, exactly. There you go. He's Eggs. not going to bump into me again and not say excuse me or anything, lady. Oh, there and she just went off and off and off, and and the and the husband was there too, and he was looking at me like. Uh, you know, whatever, because I I'd, I'd have strangled that bitch right there. <laughs> yeah, but that, it's but frustrating. Kid, I'll tell you one thing, that kid never fucking came near me again. My 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 parents would never let that happen. If you're bothering near anybody and, yeah. you know, they get come over here, you come over here. You know, I mean, I don't know. They had a rain on it. in the subways, in the subways. And Rob knows this because he's and 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 certainly Jeff knows this. There are poles in, in, at either end and they're there not for any other reason, but the people can hold on to them when they're standing up or forced to stand up. You also have the overhead thing, but you have the poles. And one day there was this uh, young girl, uh, I don't know, about five years old, playing on the pole, twirling around and everything. And all I could think of was, someday that'll be a profession for her. <laughs> yeah. You're off to a good start, kid. You should have said it your walk. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. If, if you grow a decent pair of tits, you're going to have a life's work. <clears> and if not, you. pay for them. And not pay for them. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Hello, Mike. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, you, you know what? Uh, what? Huh? What? You weren't the first one tonight. I know. <laughs> I was kind of busy. Really? You have a life beside calling our program? Well, shit. For shame. But uh, you no, know, my parents. If I did something wrong, you know what my parents would do? The old backhand. <laughs> really? The backhand. I used to get the line when we were driving somewhere. If we were, you know, my brother and I were in the back seat and we're screwing around and making a lot of noise, my father would say, "Wait till we get there. I'll embarrass you in front of everybody." Oh, that was enough. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good one. Well, now here, yeah. you know what my father did? My father was German. Well, he came from Poland, but he was raised in Germany. And when he yelled at me, that was enough. Okay, I just, I would stop doing anything I was doing. Bolo, he would say, and I would just stop. Um, also, because I respected my father and because I loved my father dearly, I didn't want to do anything to disappoint him, you know? So, um, uh, uh, you know, that, that, and I think a parent having the respect of the child, hi, Brian, uh, oh, yeah. Having the respect of the child is a very. You may hear noises, by the way. It's uh, my dogs and the cat playing. Really? I've been cooped up all day, and I. Really? Well, at least you know where your cat is. I'm uh, slowly suspecting the cat where babysitting left the house. Anyway. Oh, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> Rob, oh. did your mom ever tell you, wait till your father gets home? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and then you know. She well, said my, that and waved that finger at you. My, my problem you was... You know darn yeah, well your old yeah. man's going to hit you. I, I never got that because my father was a musician and he didn't get home till 3 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, you know, it was uh, a... Wait, wait till you wake up and then he does. <laughs> you know? But, you know, no, but my father would yell at me. Uh, I went out with a woman once who said that she came to the realization that she was abused as a child. And I went, oh, well, I, well, I'm glad you came to that conclusion. You know, you want to fuck again? Uh, uh, and, and she said, were you abused as a child? And I said, no. She says, you, I, you probably definitely were 
but you just don't remember it. You're blocking it out. And I started to think about it, and I said to her, my father never, ever spanked me. And I was never spanked as a kid. All my father had to do was yell at me. And that was worse than a spanking. And so I said, no, but he could yell. And she said, that's abuse. I said, how's that abuse? She was so into this thing that she'd been abused as a child, she wanted me to follow her into that uh, notion, you know? Well, that's why the kids are, there's a lack of respect and behavior today because they consider they consider respect and, uh, and, uh, and you know, they consider that abuse. So they don't want to infringe on these kids at all. They let them run amok. Yeah. And that's what you get. And you know where yeah. kids used to get yeah. spanked, but they don't get spanked anymore, of course, is schools. Yeah. Right. Yes. Corporal punishment. Yeah. I, uh, I only had that in uh, Christian. And when I went to catechism, they, you know, I was a public school kid, and they used to send us until we were commun- we, for communion and then confirmation. They used to send all of us bad kids over to the Catholic schools, and we, the nuns would teach catechism in the afternoon. And there you could get a ruler to your hand. You can get your hair pulled here. I got my hair pulled a couple of times. God forbid I was chewing gum or something like that. They'd pull your hair. Or, I hated the nuns. Well, every, I, that's what I've always heard is most people hated nuns. They were just well, a Well, because mean... they treated you like, uh, like you were the, you know, yeah. you were these heathen kids who went to the public school system. But I don't. No, my you know, mother, my mother told uh, Alex. I have to disagree with you on that. My mother mm-hmm. got pissed off when I was done. She what? She she got pissed off when I was done because the nun told uh, she was supposed to answer the phone. Yeah. And the nun uh, <clears throat> told her, "What do you think you're doing, Mary? I'm gonna answer the phone. Sit down." She got the ruler out. She's gonna hit my mother. My mother took the ruler. On her knee, broke the rules, just to hell with you. Ooh, nice. Wow. And that nun, to that, to my mom says, to the day that nun died, she always had respect for me because I was the only one that stood up. Wow. Against her, scared the hell out of her. Son of a gun. I had kids at the railroad museum. At the, we have, I was at the Eagle Theater, mm-hmm. and we always asked the people, ladies and gentlemen, would you please remove your hat for respect of the theater? And I yelled up pretty loud. He wanted the kids to turn around and goes, hey, you know, that's abusive. You can't yell at us. We can sue you. So I go, young man, come over here. He says, okay, what? Says, I got five angry Jews, uh, three angry Jews. I can get uh, lawyers. Get after your ass. And I don't care if the, your mom and dad will be on welfare faster than you, she can say shit. You're going to act respectful? Fine, you can go back in. You're going to be disrespectful? I don't give a shit what happens to you. Mm. Wow. I could have a little respect for me. Yeah, yeah. I don't think any shit off any kids, you know? When these dads tell me, well, that's, you can't yell at us because that's being abusive. So anyway, listening levels suck tonight. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, it's Friday, party night. No, pr- no f- Friday nights usually are the best uh, best nights for us. Sometimes for no for, Phil to pick on for number of people listening. Did did Phil email you and tell you you couldn't be on tonight? No, he just said it last. He, in action? he said it last night. Oh. yeah. So yeah, that was well, that's it. right. Tonight's temple night. Tonight's temple. He went to temple. That's <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's any- temple night. What the hell's wrong with you? So anyway, um, um, everybody is just. I turn on these news networks during the day, and they're all just. Except for, it's funny. They're all talking. The first story is always about Trump Jr. and Russia, right? Right. Go to MSNBC. First story. Go to CNN. First story. Go to Fox. They're not even talking about it. They're not you don't know the even... president's name yet. Huh? If he ever gets impeached, do you think they'll even mention it then? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Probably the not. Our dictator, Fidel uh, Trump. Trump president. 
I just yeah, our dictator Fidel, Donald Trump. Yeah, but I just, I, you know, I can't understand because I always watch like the top of the hour of those newscasts because then you get the news and that's it. You know, you don't get all these fakakta opinions from these talking heads, right? And I, I, so I turn over to MSNBC and they're they're going crazy about Donald Trump Jr. and the meetings and that, and you go over to CNN and more of the same. You go to Fox. And they were talking about, I don't know, the weather or something. I can't remember what the big story was. That murder or something where they killed four guys. So oh, is, that that guy? think, are they, is that affecting their ratings? That's got to be affecting their ratings. Fox? Yeah, uh, by Fox. ignoring all that's going on. It's kind of salacious in a way. And to not cover it, you would think it would affect their ratings. Well, it, the question is why they're not covering it at all. I could well, I could see that they would soft pedal it or they would put their slant on it, but this is a big story after all, you know. So when 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 Don Jr. gets on the stand next week, will they cover it or will they just do like a news break? Oh, by the way, Don Jr. is testifying. Uh, well, they'll, they'll, more news in a moment. Well, that probably no, no, you don't say idiot sons on on. Be By the way, did you did you watch this guy? I can't remember his name now. Who's who? who they're gonna try. He wants to be the new head of the FBI. A couple of minutes. I, I yeah. watched him uh, during the confirmation hearings. Did you have a feeling he was just saying everything that he felt that everybody wanted to hear? Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I, I mean, did I don't you, know. I didn't get a feeling. I haven't listened to him, but yeah, I had the same. Thing. If a Trump asked me to do anything illegal, I'd quit. Yeah, sure you would. Yes. Sure you would. Yeah. You know, uh, we, we, just, we would hope he would, but yeah. Did you see that new sinkhole in Florida? It's getting bigger. What's yeah. that? Yeah, but that's off the topic. There, the sinkhole in Florida happens to be Florida. Okay. Too bad it's not so. in D.C. <laughs> and Florida slowly sinking. Well, you know, my great dream for Florida is that as the uh, ice caps are melting, the seas are rising, and the coast of Florida, the lower half of Florida, may be underwater soon, and I couldn't be fucking happier. You know? Why? The only thing that fucking state has ever produced are some pretty hot female teachers who fuck their students. <laughs> You know, Letourneau? You know, uh, 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 no, Letourneau was up in uh, uh, Oregon or Washington. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, no, there, there was one down there that, man, I was just, I was getting a boner just looking at her getting arrested, <laughs> you know. Um, but that's the only thing that Florida has done that has any worth to it. I just hate that fucking state. And I live besides, there. Besides the heat and the humidity and the everything worst else. three months of my life was in that in that fucking town of Miami. Oh, God, <laughs> are those people horrible? You know, and I don't care about, if you're listening to me right now. Like New York, like huh? not, are they like New Yorkers? Uh, Rude, and nasty. I, I mean, by the way, does Renee like me anymore? She d- never calls. She just simply writes things. On the commentary thing on the on the on the uh, uh, video, uh, and but we haven't heard from her in like a couple of weeks or something. You would think tonight would be the night for Renee to call. There's no Phil, so it no, must, we want to hear so, what uh, what she has to say. You know, she I like her opinion. I like to hear her opinion, but apparently she's mad at me or something. I don't know. I feel like it. I don't know if she is. Maybe get, she got a new haircut and doesn't like it. That that could that could be, <laughs> you know. But anyway, so uh, I, I, I mean, oh. uh, did she just? Oh, she just wrote something. Renee is moving. Wait a minute, you're moving? Didn't you just move? She, I did see something. She said she's packing boxes. I don't know. I didn't understand what oh. it was. I mean, well, where yeah. is she moving? She's in. Oh, was she? I hope she's taking her toilets. Oh yeah, those those fancy uh, spritz, yeah, the totos spritz, spritz your cost uh, a, vagina. Cost a pretty penny those things. Damn. Yeah. The porcelain pussy pleasers. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> no one wants to hear what I say. Moi says her. No. What I love you. 
Well, the you know, just I guess she can't call because she's moving. But why did she didn't tell us she was moving? Where are you moving, Renee? Uh, <laughs> Texas, probably. <laughs> Never. Yeah, everybody's going to be calling us from Texas. Oh, God. Wouldn't that be funny if she did move to a red state? I'm going to be in Plano again the week of August 14th for a couple of nights. That could be Pennsylvania, come to think of it. It's going to be hot as shit there. Yeah. It's going to be hot. That's, that's about the hottest month, yes. Yeah. I'll tell you something. I... Um, you know, I, 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 what I've said about Florida, you say, well, then what do you think about Texas? I, when I left Houston, Texas, I felt terrible. I loved living in that town. I really enjoyed it. It was a good couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Some good food down there. Good, be everything. I had a great time down there. So I, I feel, have very kind thoughts about Texas, <laughs> even though... They are the bane of our political existence, you know. Uh, is, is Houston the, the worst place? Or the no, best oh place? no, Houston. It, Houston's probably the worst place you could live, yeah. Why? Humidity. The humidity. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, well, oh, 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 oh for, for that, yes, uh, absolutely. No, no, As no, I say, no. for, for two years of my life, I couldn't keep a crease in my pants, okay? Yeah. But, but... Um, that town, that town was a lot. What? <laughs> you were married then, right? Yeah, but there was lots of pussy. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, it was very difficult for me because I was I went I had this low <laughs> self esteem, right? You know, growing up as a kid and everything. All of a sudden, I'm doing a radio show and I'm a big fucking star in in Houston doing this radio show, and all of a sudden women are throwing themselves at me. I never had that happen. And I find my I'm married. <laughs> you know, yeah. I wasn't the best husband. I was pretty terrible. I apologized to her later for it. I just said it had to do with my it had to do with my low self esteem. You know, that's a good excuse. No, no, it's not an excuse. I understand that. Yeah, I totally understand that. Yeah. I've been there. I mean, if you've always had low self esteem, all of a sudden women are throwing themselves at you just because you got a fucking radio show. Uh, and and you got a wife at home, but this one's got uh, ample bosoms and a vagina that is ready to accommodate you. You do it. And it was the uh, '60s. Uh, yeah, it was the '60s. Yeah, yeah, but, early '60s. Yeah, but I mean, Jack Bishop remembers those days with me. Uh, but anyway, so that, was that's... he your wingman? Hmm. Was he your wingman? No, he was my wingman. It, no, mm -hmm. I was lucky I didn't get killed walking down the street with him. That was still in those days where he had to live <laughs> yeah. in one part of town and I had to live on the other. And my wife and I and Jack would walk down the street in Houston and she would be in the middle and people would stare because they couldn't figure out who the fuck she was with. Wow. <laughs> you know, but I mean, those, she should kiss Jack once. Uh, I mean, those were the days when you had yeah. when you yeah. had uh, you didn't have bars. You had uh, uh, clubs. Clubs. And when yeah. you went in, because you you couldn't buy liquor, right? right. You, you you you. But if you were a member of a club, you could, and so you went in, and immediately they would give you a membership card, temporary right. membership card, and then you would drink, and it was like any other you know supper club kind of situation, and then you would leave. But if you were black, oh, I'm sorry, members only. Ah. Oh, oh, yes. yeah. They yeah. they they also had a law down there. This is I, Texas was weird back in the days. I you know what I loved about it, Scott. Maybe you, you've lived in Texas all your life, right? No, no. Where'd you where where'd you start? Iowa. 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 Oh, okay, so when did you get to Texas? Seventy nine. Seventy nine. So that was a long time ago. I I I was there. Uh, uh, um, I was there in about sixty five. Was it okay? But what happened was Texas, uh, Houston at that time, was a West Texas or an East Texas cow town, basically, that was growing up and becoming very sophisticated because NASA had moved in. And oh, so yeah. all these scientists moved in. So they then built a symphony hall and things like that. And slowly, Houston became a very sophisticated town. But in those days, they still had like those... Uh, uh, East Texas, uh, you know, bars, 
where you would go beer beer lounges where you would go in and you would drink and there'd be Buck Owens on the jukebox. And there was just something about all of that culture that was kind of fascinating and interesting to me. Barbecue yeah. bars where you eat and drink all you want? No, this was just you could drink all you want. And I remember there were only two, there were only two beers you would buy in a bar like that. One was Lone Star. Is Lone Star beer still around? Sure. Yes, it is. Okay, how about Pearl? Is it still around? That'd be the other beer, yep. Yep. They were the two beers, and that's what you would drink. And I would go there, and, you know, we'd all sit around drinking, and I wasn't a big drinker, but I enjoyed that. There was a certain cultural perspective that, that you had in Houston. I loved the town. I just loved it. Uh, of course, I left two days before they were going to try and plant some pot on me and arrest me because I... I was going to reveal that the Houston Police Department had Ku Klux Klan meetings in their offices on Tuesdays. <laughs> and, and they knew I knew that and that I was going to reveal it. And then I got this job in, uh, in uh, Minneapolis. And I figured I just want to be a full-time talk show host. So I took that job and left. And I was two days ahead of them trying to plant some pot on me and arrest me. Wow. But I love Houston anyway. So Officer <laughs> Billy Bob broke back butt fucker didn't get a chance to uh, uh, I, butt fuck you. I, I think there were two butts there in his name, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, one for each cheek of his ass. Which yes, his butt butt fucker. Here and here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, here. You are so colorful with your... with your. That's it's awesome. These people, these people, I have nothing but contempt for. Yeah. They are not human to me. Yeah. That which I hate, I objectify. I take, a, in other words, I'm, I'm taking many pages from the uh, right wing conservative playbook. Very good. Uh, yes, uh, Jeff has his hand up. This is why well, I was going to say that when I went to the last time I went to, to uh, Texas, I drove. And I stopped there, uh, you know, when you change states and you can go in there and go to the bathroom, whatever. And, yeah. And the police were there and uh, and the cop uh, asked me if I had a gun. And I said, no. And he says, well, I'll give you one. I have to wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. Man, oh man! I, you know what I got to do? I got to have some woman on this show topless. Yeah. That way I get lots of viewers. Right. Is there any woman who wants to call me and take her top off? Just not for us. We're most of us. Ex well, let's see. He's gay, so it doesn't matter. And Rob's married, and Jeff and I are too old to care about whether we see a pair of tits because we've seen enough of them in our lifetime. Uh, Scott would still kind of enjoy it. And Mike, would you enjoy it? Yeah. So if there's any woman, you know, or just uh, you give us a, a, a Skype call. Uh, we're GabNet Live. And just to take, uh, your, uh, take your top off so I can get some more numbers here. You usually Ooh. block those people that try to do that and call in, you know. Those women that call in with the... Oh, no, 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 no. Well, the no, they want, no, they no. want the beads. No, those are the ones that try oh, to be bots. my Facebook friends. Oh, Facebook. Well, aren't most of those bots... It, it, yeah. yeah, they're bots doing them. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I, I, I send them away. Uh, but why doesn't Facebook do something about that? You know, because they're stupid. Yeah. They can't do nothing about it. No, every time that I go below um, five thousand people, which is my limit, if I go to nine, you know, four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, all of a sudden I start getting all these women. You know. Trying to be my friend, so. Yeah. Now, are you going to do like Jerry Springer? Give the uh, ladies beads after they show the I, boobs. I give them beads. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if, oh, uh, or if, if a woman doesn't do that, I'm going to ask everybody here to take their shirts off. So, you know, and that could not uh -uh. be. You don't want to see that. They, they could. You don't want that. You really don't want that. What was that? What was that? That was Mike. Mike? Uh, oh, Mike. But Jerry. <laughs> yeah. So you anyway. have the little bell. 
So, um, uh, you know, I, I, I again, I oh, did you have your hand up, Jeff? Yeah, I was going to say that uh, my wife is hiding in, uh, in the U.M. Plaza tonight. Why? And, uh, well, her, her sister and their kids and whatever uh, who live in, in Florida came up here and uh, they're going to they went to the museums and stuff like that today. Yeah. And and the U.M. Plaza is a pretty fancy uh, hotel that I used to stay there for business all the time. Yeah. And so Pam says to him, do you have any nicer rooms because of uh, we're staying here tonight? And he said, um, yeah, we've got something nice for you. And she gave him some room that probably cost a thousand bucks for tonight. Wow. Oh. Yeah. How because many? they're empty, you know. There's nothing going on and you in right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well So it's a, a smart little thing if you know anything. It's kinda like I felt it. I felt the other day about my um, the landlords in this building. I thought, well gee, you know, I've I've been here for three years without paying rent. How must they be feeling about that? And then it suddenly hit me. They couldn't rent it out if I wasn't here. Why couldn't they rent it out? Because it's there's a legal action about it, so they couldn't mm. rent it anyway. So right. you know, better or better, I'm staying here and taking good care of it. You know, so uh, so it's they, kind of like the like the UN Plaza. They probably didn't have that room rented out. Oh, so what the hell? That's right. What are they going to do with it? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, yes, you know, uh, Mike. Have they ever finished working on the? Uh, this uh, hotel, Astoria Astor, uh, Hotel. I know they're working on it. They're, I know they're supposed to put in like uh, apartments or something in that hotel. You mean the? You mean down uh, around? Um, I think you're thinking of the plaza. Central, yeah, the plaza around. I Central think you're Park. thinking of the plaza. Oh, no, I think it was a hotel, Astoria. Um, no, 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 the Waldorf the Astoria is still a hotel. Waldorf, Waldorf. Yeah, the Waldorf Astoria. I think they're going to redo it. Now you're They're thinking gonna, the plaza. No, I no no no. I but, think it was. No, Waldo. because the plaza the plaza was turned into uh, co-ops or whatever. Yeah. Ha about half of it. The other half is still a hotel. Right. But I so think the completely Waldo redone. Story, though, I think they're going to redo that hotel. Uh, maybe it's old. Because they're going to redo it, turn some of it into uh, luxury apartments or something like that. You know what they have underneath the Waldorf Astoria that's fascinating? You know what I'm talking about, Jeff? Yes. yes. There's a train underneath. Huh? At the yard. There's a train. That's right. That's right. You got it, too. There's a what? There's a tr there, there is a train track under the Waldorf Astoria. What happened was when FDR would come to town, because they didn't want anybody to know FDR couldn't walk, okay? They would uh, take the... Um, a train and they would sidetrack it underneath there's these rails underneath the Waldorf Astoria then he would get out down there an elevator would take him up to the dining room where he would then be kind of be helped on stage by his son and then they had this reinforced lectern that he used that he could hold on to but they had literally had train tracks underneath you how'd you know that Scott History Channel, maybe I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think they had something like that. Yeah. So you're right. That, the Waldorf is closed as of as of February 28th for major renovations. Chinese They're going to turn. Yep. The China the China's Ambang Insurance Group bought it in 2014, and many of the rooms will turn to into apartments. Also, that factoid was featured on an episode of uh, the FX series The Strain. The character who's uh, real into. Uh, uh, who's real into uh, obscure Hotels. history? New York history is the one who brought that up in a, in a particular. I, I don't remember episode. that. I used to watch The Strain, and I can't remember that. They, they actually talked about the, tracks it was the being... second season. No, really. Uh, when that uh, Dutch girl was kidnapped, and uh, yeah, interest oddly, and uh, also regarding The Strain, this season coming up will be its last. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I thought it was a pretty good show. So do I. I, I, I read the uh, 
I should say I read, but I had read to me the audiobooks, the uh, trilogy. Yeah. I, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, um, uh, uh, you know what I had here last night? Wait a minute. I'll, I'll go get it. This is something to talk about. You know, we could talk about politics, but geez, there isn't much to talk about in politics. It's the same old thing. We got a president. So proper. Huh? It's funny with all that's going on. It's been beat to death because it really doesn't change. It's getting the same old crap, same old crap, day yeah. after day after day after day. Yeah, yeah. Trump Jr. is going to get caught. Daddy's not going to pull him out. Daddy's going to get impeached. You think he's going to look good in orange? <laughs> what do you mean? He... No, it has to be Gucci. It has to be Gucci outfit. Gucci orange, huh? Well, Gucci orange. It, with, well, uh, I mean, it, bet, better off it was his father because he's orange already. That and uh, you asked if he would look good in orange, Rob. I don't think he would look good slathered in sewer shit. <laughs> I think they would build their own prison. A new show could be called Orange is the New Trump. You know, yeah. Anyway, uh, did you see? He'll grab him by the pussy in prison. You, you know, if he doesn't have one, oh. they'll, they'll, they'll find one for him. Yeah, they'll find make one to grab. You know what gets me? Uh, the Emmy Awards came out. The nominations. They came out for this year. And what bothers me about it is they give out so many Emmys that, you know, hey, hey uh, did you get one this year? No, but I got one last year. I mean, even I have two Emmys because you got your local Emmys, Right. Uh, and uh, so now all these people are up for stuff, and in some of these cases, it's the same people on the same show. Um, Jessica Lange and Susan Sarandon are both nominated for Best Actress in a Limited Series for Bette and Joan. Feud. Uh, I mean, um, uh, what, it was another show that was like that, that the, the it, it, you know, two people on the same show get nominated and uh, are they taking a page out of the book where everyone's a winner what they do with the kids you yeah, know? it's no, getting be you like don't a, want to hurt anybody's feelings so everyone's a winner listen to this wow. v- variety talk series okay full frontal with samantha b jimmy kimmel live last week tonight with john oliver the late late show with james corden the late show with stephen colbert in real time with bill maher that's just about all there is. The only thing that isn't here is Jimmy Fallon yeah. and Seth Meyers. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd have every show that's on the air like that. Isn't uh, it the Oscars will be coming out also about this time? No. no or is that it, later? No, that's March. That's March. We just had the Oscars. you kidding me? Um, and uh, let me see here. Is, it, is there any other one where they've, they've had... Uh, uh, the same, uh, a couple of people from the same show. Um, I believe I've, somewhere I saw, I think that, uh, oh boy. Well, anyway. So that's not very interesting, is it, folks? I'm boring the shit out of you. Uh, Handmaid's Tale, two, peop- two, two women for supporting actress from The Handmaid's Tale. Um, then Chrissy Metz for This Is Us for Best Supporting Actress. Um, uh, shouldn't she? Want I got that? over awards a long time ago. I don't. I used to watch all that stuff. I don't watch it. Then there was an award. Every time somebody turned around, they invented awards. Dick Clark and his team invented awards. I gave up on all of them. I don't watch any of them, and I don't find any of them really that interesting anymore. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a little question here, just to prove your point. What won the Academy Award for Best Picture last year? Quick. Oh, I wouldn't know. I don't know either. Quick. Shit ticklers in space. See? See? I mean, wow, picture one for best picture and it Well I can't is it even any one. of the big blockbusters? Oh. Because who well, I you remember know, Marvel's not gonna win. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Scott? There was a controversy over it because they announced the wrong Yeah. Uh, yeah. Movie one. It wasn't La La Land, it was the other one. See, but you can't name it. I'm thinking about it. I'm close though. See, I mean, that's how much the Academy Awards matter. You ask I anybody. I think it was fuck faces you, underwater in a submarine. L- listen, you yeah. ask anybody that question, 
two months after the Academy Awards, that. and they can't tell you what picture won. Donald oh. Trump soupy it, in a glass. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, it was Moonlight. <laughs> Just make shit up. I don't know. It was Moonlight. Yes, uh, J- uh, Jeff. Alex, you used to go to the movies a lot. As I remember, I still go to the movies when I can. You know, when there's something to see, there isn't a lot to see anymore. I haven't gone to movies in years. You know, the, let me put it this way: small films, the the ones that you know I would like, I can't see going to a big theater to see. I'll wait for them to be on Netflix or on HBO or wherever. Uh, because I, you know, they're, they're small little pictures. They don't need the big screen. What I go to see, and what we go to the comfy chair theater for, are some of the things that, you know, have lots of explosions, you know, <laughs> and and it, 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 our audience pictures. Or TNA. Nah. I can get TNA on anywhere, you know. Hell, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm not even downloading porn anymore. You know, Jesus. Be- well, because <laughs> you see, DNA and explosions and, and, and all now is it back- because of my age or is it just yeah. because I'm tired of watching the same twenty women getting fucked by the same seven guys? Or I know. or or as well, as Pendul <laughs> as Pendulep said when said to me when I brought that up to him, yeah, just like in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how about have how about switching roles? Have the seven women with strap ons fuck the twenty guys. Uh, that, oh Jesus! Uh, no, done that too. No, no, but there aren't twenty guys. There's seven guys, and they're the same seven guys. Uh, seven guys or whatever. I, I forgot. And, 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 I, and I you, suck at math. And I gotta tell you, you know what? Uh, what's really bad in porn these? Days? Anybody paying attention to porn these days at all? No. No. For no. about thirty. Uh, well, for about three minutes, and well, then, then I get let, off. And let then me be it. your Michael. Sni- <laughs> let me be your Michael Snyder of porn. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Um, or Leonard Martin. The the problem with porn today is, I really don't like tattoos. Okay. You speak for yourself. And some of these women are like full, like full arms, both arms, tattoos, the back a tattoo, and I'm going. They look like they're dressed. I want my women naked, and I consider well, give, a tattoo clothing. You know, gives you something to I read think, while you're masturbating or fucking them. I think. Uh, who, 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 I forgot what's. Oh, it was, uh, oh, look at Ruth. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. There's actually porn, uh, soft porn on TV. Well, I don't well, care. I don't care. I, all over no, no, soft porn. Fuck soft porn. I mean, Alex. they they show yeah, these they show these so, they show these soft porn films on like HBO and Showtime, and I'm going, what's the use of these things? No yeah. penetration. The only That's reason probably. porn exists is so you have something to jerk off to, and if you can't jerk off to it, it's not porn. That's soft core porn because there's no penetration. But there was a, a comedian, oh, Jimmy Dore, oddly enough, because he's also a stand-up comedian. I saw a, a special on DVD where he said that uh, he likes the if he could date a woman with a with a tattoo of a like a tic-tac-toe puzzle on her back. <laughs> He'd have something to do while he's plugging her. Yeah. And then he'd say, yeah. The only problem is, oh, it's already filled out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but I, you know, uh, I'm looking at numbers saying, man, nobody did right. This is, def- is there a special event or something? I going don't know. On last, uh, last, yeah, week. Donald Trump's putting his glass, his, his, his hair in, in the, uh, in a jar. No, but last, um, last Monday we had a ton of people. Gee, just a ton. And I find, I find that I'm losing, I'm getting less people listening to the audio only version because they can li- they can go and watch it on Facebook live or, or just listen to it on Facebook live. So anyway. So I wonder why I'm well, I'm wondering I'm wondering why I'm doing this every night. Maybe I should do this one day a week. Then everybody would appreciate it. Nah. Uh, I because uh, I'm 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 not giving out. You know what I'm thinking of doing? I think uh, uh, if so uh, uh, makeup 
tips, if I had makeup tips, you know, for young girls, and maybe I was really good at it, I could get like thousands and thousands of people listening to me. But because I'm doing this, uh, who wants to hear a bunch of old Alta Cacas talking about shit, right? Except for Brian, of course. How old are you, Brian? I am 35. Yeah, you are our youngest, uh, you are our youngest caller, basically, at the present time. At the present time, I think uh, Jason is my age. He may be a yeah. little younger, maybe older. He's a little older. Yeah. So anyway, did, did uh, oh, uh, let's see here. Wait a minute. I want to see if Renee wrote anything about her move. Uh, uh, down, Scott. Uh, great. You make it sound like women in Houston are nothing but parking spaces. Uh, they were when I was there. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Gabnet. Uh, 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 what? Gabnet Bucks? Oh, he's, oh, Gabnet Bucks, if Scott takes off his shirt. Hey! How much? <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. We still got uh, 24 minutes left. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if there was some news today, something we could get our sink our teeth into. Yeah, it was pretty quiet. Yeah, well, next week, next week we're going to have uh, Don Jr.'s testimony to look forward to. I'll tell you something. Let, let's get into something a little political. Hey, we get some violins. Get the, the violins the, ready. The Republicans. The, violins. the Republicans are beginning to prove that old adage that insanity is keep trying to do the same thing over and over again with the same result. Is insanity. Uh, and they seem to be this way with their with their health bill. I mean, it looks to me like the new health bill looks a lot like the old health bill, except they're giving more money for opioid uh, uh, abuse. Yeah, but have you heard about the health bill that uh, the Congress has come up with now? They came up with a health bill where they didn't cut the all the money the tax breaks for the rich they they left all of that in yeah and what and what they want to do and you know again this could work out is to give give all that money and break it up and give that money to the states and let the states run their own oh, exchanges and such so that if you live in a blue state you'll get health care as democrats would have it and if you live in a red state you'll get what what they'll have give what they'll give you. So in New York, you'll be fine. In California, you'll be fine. And if you go to Oklahoma, good luck. But they didn't. They took all the tax breaks out. So there, there'd be no tax breaks. Somebody's got something on. Oh, that's me. My yeah. mistake. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, but but isn't that, isn't that uh, the idea? I wish I had Phil here to argue with. Now I, I miss him. Uh, the fact is that you, 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 uh, every state has got to be similar, okay? You can't, it, it has to be similar because people have to know that if they move from state to state, they're going to have the same, like with, um, I have, I have uh, Medicare as an example. And it's the same from state to state because it's a national program. Right. And the same should hold true. Of, uh, of, of something like what we called Obamacare, what we would call an affordable uh, act. But they're never going to, then, unless they agree. But if you, go, if you go from state to state and your health and your health coverage changes, that's a bit unfair. Well, not a lot of people switch states. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, and, and it would, if you think about it, if you were thinking about moving to Texas... You might not want to go if that were the case. Right? Well, what you, you might, might to... what you might find is a lot of people moving out of the states that have a bad health right. system Absolutely. and go to a state so, with a good health system, and that's so it's not necessarily a... a bad no, thing. No, no, but that's going to put a strain on that state. Well, the, I think the way they're going to dole out the money would be based on population. You would think, right? They're not going to give an even amount of money to all, to each state. All, all I'm saying is that I, I just think it's a, it's a, it's not a very good. Uh, Good idea. They can't. They can't get it passed. So this is a way where at least they can pass it on. Yeah. It's not going to pass either. 
And if you live in a blue state, you're you probably go, okay, that works for me. Hmm. And if you live in a red state, well, this is what you wanted anyway. <laughs> Did you see the incentive? But uh, Trump's going to get the Republicans are the ones that are, you know don't know what they're going to do. The one up in Alaska, I forgot what her name was, she told straight out, says, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. A I have it in my mind. Yeah, uh, I think Len- it was. Lisa Mikarski? Mikowski? I think so. Yeah. I, 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 I thought, good for you, you know. Just say the hell with it. The hell, a plan sucks. Of uh, uh, Trump's. And he's going to try, 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 try. And finally, Republicans are going to say, hey, fuck you, Mr. President. Well, I mean, uh, uh, to begin with, you, you really, up until, I guess, the last couple of days, have not seen Trump get behind a medical plan. You know, when, when Obama had Obamacare, he was out on the stump talking to people, giving speeches, uh, you know, pushing the thing. Uh, Trump you know did why, nothing to push this other one that they had. You know now. why, don't you? Why? Well, because he doesn't want to be associated with a loser. Yeah. God, he knows that this is a really bad chance, and he doesn't want to get behind it. And, so, but he, but he's, kind of, he's, kind, he's kind of getting behind this one. I figured it was because he's just a lazy motherfucker. They, they celebrated in the Rose Garden with champagne and everything after the, 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 the Congress passed that health care. Then he went and called it cruel. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, he, he's not really getting behind anything that's that, that's not good for Donald Trump. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's not getting money in his little pocket. His little tight ass. Little hey, tight ass. See? Have you seen him in his golf pictures? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he looks like a target. He looks like a big target, Navy target. Needs to be shot. Somebody got you know take a pot shot. Did you see that asshole in Cheeks France? Cheeks of his ass are enough to be his own golf course, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's Grand Canyon. It is his yeah. Grand Canyon. Uh, and, and guess, where, and guess, where, and guess where the first. guess where the eighteenth hole is? Uh, <laughs> the brown spot you see when they zoom in the lens. Yeah, mm. that's probably where it is. Right there, the brown eye. eye. I was telling. I was uh, watching some video today of uh, the, the Trumps in in Paris, and I. Yeah. Sitting, with my, sitting with my wife, and I said, "You know what, Melania does look good, and I don't mean sexy, but I mean she really has. She's very regal looking. She she really presents well, and and yeah. she's you know she speaks a bunch of different languages and such, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, but, but you know, but she's exactly. She looks like she was pissed off. She always she looks always like does. she she always looks like she's pissed off. Can you blame her? I can this here. Donald, what the hell did you do this time? What the hell, you son of a bitch? You know, I mean... I, Donald, I, why aren't no. you dead yet? I married you for your money, well, I and mean, you're still alive. Of course she what looks great. You bastard, go to bed! Of course she looks great. She's a trophy wife. Yeah, she she's really, really looks good. Yeah, you know, I mean... Uh, very, yeah. very regal. Is very she, is she, if, if you saw the, that couple walking down the street, and you didn't know who the fuck they were, okay... You would say, what is that beautiful, stunning woman doing with that ugly, Asshole. fat fuck? Uh, you, know? you would say he must be rich. Huh? You would say he must be rich. He must be rich. Exactly. That's exactly what you'd say. Was it a Tom Likas used to say? You get what you can afford? Yes. In terms <laughs> of that. Hey, look at that. We, got, we picked up another one. Yeah, hey, we, hey. we picked up John Rockwell. I just got, I just got home from... Uh, a uh, nice uh, beer tasting session, so uh, hopefully I won't slur it too much, you know. But, uh, so yeah. now, now we have as many people on the show as are watching us. Watching so, the show, I noticed that. <laughs> Ain't that some oh, well. shit? No, I don't know what asshole. that means. That doesn't mean that we have only that number of people listening, because when it's over with and it adds it all up, I have several hundred. Well, that's mm. because it's not keeping a tally. You get the tally when you're done. Yeah. Eight watching it right now. They may have dropped off, and others came on and dropped off, and others yeah, came on. Yeah, but some nights, some nights that'll come out to four hundred. Yeah, well, yeah, it's really strange. Well, I was watching it on Facebook before I logged off of there and came on the Skype. Yeah, and it's at seven on there. So does it still say seven? I don't know. I don't have a uh, Facebook uh, Live up. No, we're down to six. But well, I, that was, but I, I must have been number uh-oh. seven. <laughs> But I have, right, but but oh that is that is not an accurate count of how many people have been watching it. 
That's that's the strange part about it. I don't understand what that number is. To tell you the truth, uh, because uh, for instance, my uh, thing on the beach. My first thing I did on the beach last week is almost hitting nine hundred. Whoa! Yeah. Wow. I mean, you know. So I'm thinking. And just we know to, how exciting that was. Well, I'm just <laughs> I'm just thinking of going out to the fucking beach, doing five minutes, and uh, that's it. You know. Yeah, hey, how long does it take you to get off on the boat? beach with Alex? Ben. Yeah, what? On the beach. How long does it take ben. you? How long does it take you to go from you know to uh, to the beach over to the, to the city by boat? Fire Island can take a little bit of time. Well, it's a bit well, out you, there. You don't take a boat out to Fire. You don't take Island. a boat. No. You, you take a boat on the last leg. You go from the. It's the ferry boat. It's like a. Take the railroad, right? Take the Long Island Railroad. You take out the to Long like Island Oceanside Railroad. I take, we take a. Uh, so there's, a there's, a van, there's a van that you can. The van too. Yeah. You yeah. Do that. The van. Oh, okay. van. Yeah. I like, the train. 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 I like that better than the train. Sorry. The trains now are uh, uh, hell. You know. Mm. Do you go by van from from uh, Harlem to Bayshore? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, wow. well, no, actually, we had to go pick it up at, uh, I don't know, 62nd and 3rd or something like that. We had, we had to go meet. How much did that van it. cost? Uh, $25. Okay. That's not bad. Pretty yeah. cheap. No, in fact, yeah, it was $25, yeah. Coming back, Plus it was 25 Plus another 25 on the meter. Around, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Still running the meter. Yeah. And, uh, uh <clears> but, but no, it's, it was, and it's a very, uh, you know. Uh, it's I've only a, done it with the railroad. Yeah, I've done the railroad, and I like the railroad. There's only one problem, a couple of problems with the railroad. Number one, if you take it going back, you don't mm. know when the fuck the train is going to show up. I mean, you know, it's it could be you could be waiting an hour for the train. All right. If and you, you want to go if back, take it coming the day out, that everyone else is going back with you. <laughs> oh, I've taken that train back on a holiday, and oh. it's like you want to die. You, yeah. you know. Um, Everybody's jammed up like sardines. Uh, Air conditioning can't handle them all. That's right. Terrible. Just terrible. No fun. But I, uh, uh, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Well, just, no. You know, I was just thinking about this, Alex. Uh, every time you do that, when you forget what you're going to say and you don't stumble and you bumble, just say random shit like uh, uh, flying pussies love to eat shit. You know, just okay. uh, maybe it'll jog your memory. Or maybe Let me you think know, now. Flying, turn or laugh, yeah, you know? yeah, that would make me jog my memory, make me think of you. Uh, <laughs> Is that so bad? Yeah. Anyway, so, so um, uh, no, I mean, the Long Island Railroad it also coming out, you don't know you're going to get to the station. Then there's a van there that you pay five bucks to to take you to the ferry. Okay. And the ferry costs. And then, oh, the ferry is uh, what I pay for two. Not a lot, isn't it? No, it was like it, I paid $38 for f two round-trip tickets. So how much what? is that? Wow, that's gone up since that's I haven't done it in a long time. Me yeah. neither. Uh, 97 I, was the last yeah, time I've been Yeah, but there. The, still, that's only like about nine bucks each way however you know you got to buy a two-way ticket what are you going to do swim back you know <laughs> right. uh, well i used to take i used to do my radio show on saturday morning so and it, the, in bayshore right near the train station was the radio station i worked at oh really so i would go out i would go out friday yeah right on sunrise highway in bayshore mm -hmm. uh, and i would so i would take the train out from manhattan on mm -hmm. friday i worked half a day on friday all summer yeah. take the train from from Manhattan to Bay Shore, get on the ferry, and then Saturday morning, get up, take the ferry back to do my radio program, and then go back afterwards. Yeah, on the on the train, it was it wasn't that expensive because uh, uh, I, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> well, wait a minute, Renee, if you're calling us, oh wait a minute, I can't, I can't I uh, put you on because you're calling from a different place. Mm. Uh, and it doesn't allow me to call you back either. People can see <coughs> I'm working on it here. I can't do it, Renee. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Everybody hold on. I'm going to answer. Uh, hello, Renee. Hello. You're going to have to call uh, using, uh, because I, I, I can't get you in with the citizens panel. That's the problem. I got a separate line? Yeah. You're, 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 you should call directly to GabNet Live. 
Let me try again. Thanks. Okay, bye bye. Thanks. Okay, let me see here. Let me go back to my group and let me turn them back on. Resume call. <laughs> there we go. There. Were you able to talk to each other while I was gone? Yeah. Oh, we were yeah. saying terrible things about you, Alex. You that know. happens. <laughs> How mean you are and everything yeah. else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I uh, I can't. And I, I tried to call Renee back and she says she's going to try again. So. Any, oh, okay. I'd like to find out why she's moving. I didn't know she was moving. Oh. Yeah, nice house she's in. Yeah. She's not moving. She's just remodeling. Oh. Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah. Oh. So why is she, okay. is she getting out of the house? No, she just likes a better house, I guess. Let me see here. If I went to Renee She Collins, might have to get out of the house while they're doing the remodeling yeah. if it's really... Hey. It's oh, painting and, you know, and yeah. construction. Packing stuff so they can clear out rooms and new flooring and stuff, I think. New oh, floor. yeah. Oh, okay. Upgrade. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, she. I mean, because she seems to really enjoy living there. I, I was in my new studio today. Well, I saw oh, pictures yeah. of you online. Awesome. <clears throat> in the, oh, you did see some pictures of the house? Well, yeah. Uh, pictures of the house, but it's just like, you know, all frames and stuff like that. How, how's it coming yeah. along? So I was there today, and um, the plumbing is in. All the plumbing is in. All the electricals in, so you can see where all the, the the network drops will be, and all all with the power outlets and ceiling fans and all that stuff is roughed in now. And the bathrooms, you can see where the, the they have the, the the flange for the toilets in. And uh, so, how much so, longer is it going to be before this house is going to be ready? So Monday Monday morning, we have the pre drywall meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, from there. We're about a month out. Wow. Really, they put those things up fast, don't they? We get one look, and uh, we get one more look at the house before the walls go up to make sure that everything that we ordered is where it needs to be, yeah. any outlets and all that stuff. And then the next time we go back, all the sheetrock will be up. And you've got network wiring throughout the entire house, right? Yeah, I put Cat5 in the whole house. Wow. Idea. Well, the whole place is going to be wired up. This my old one was too. I don't. Well, know. I let's get in there fast. Ago. We need some new promos. That's the first thing you do when you move in. You make me promos. I got to get that <laughs> studio up and going again. Yeah, can't wait. Uh, have they started the installation at all? Of what? Of the house. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's completely like I said. Everything is in. All they're going to do starting Monday will be all the drywall going up. So the wow, the heat the electrics in all the duct work is in for the heating and air conditioning and everything is there toilets do they give you do they that. give you anything gratis just because you're doing business with them um no mm -hmm. they 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 gave me five thousand dollars towards closing here's a visual show oh really mm -hmm. oh okay yeah that's what okay. they did but they. they the market is good. They're selling houses. Like, wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> That's cool. What is that? What is That's that? That's cool. Wait a That's minute. the cat Pussies. playing with the two dogs. Wait a minute. Let me. And let the Roomba. Me, let, me, let, me, let me. Oh, there we go. Roomba, I just yeah. blew it up so everybody out there could see it. And now the cat is licking his balls. That's nice, too. There you go. Uh, wait a minute. There are three cats. No, uh, those are dogs. The two dogs are. Are Oh, there's a dog. Oh, that's a dog. Oh, Yorkies just yeah. look like cats. Oh, it's two dogs and a cat. <laughs> How does the cat Damn. get along with the two dogs? That seems to be doing all right. Yeah, yeah really? really? You got lucky, my friend. That's it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're not barking and meowing and scratching each other. That's pretty nice. Yeah, now licking yeah. his balls again. There we go. Hey, well, you know. That would be right. I, I imagine if we gave Brian the chance, he'd do the same thing himself. So, uh, I, my tongue can't reach that far. Oh, well, not that far. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, we are then. thankful. <laughs> you should be. If, if your tongue could reach that far, you'd be very popular. You never leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have no reason. To that's the that. old. That's the old joke, right? Yeah. Exactly. Well, uh, no, the old joke is that a, a guy is two guys are walking down the street and. Out in the, uh, oh right! Uh, there's a dog licking his balls, and a guy said, "I wish I could do that." He said, "Well, if you give him flowers first, maybe you can." <laughs> That's one of the few jokes I remember. Just I'm not good butter. at remembering oh, no. jokes. Oh, no. Peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Sick. And jelly. <laughs> yeah. If they swing that way, the jelly works too. What is it with dogs and peanut butter anyway? They really get goofy looking when they eat it. <laughs> 
You know what it is? They get stuck in the roof of their mouth. Yeah. Isn't that how they, they used to get Mr. The tongue, right? <laughs> Isn't that how they used to get Mr. Ed to talk with a mouthful of peanut butter? No, yeah, I actually, like that. actually, in the old days, you know, how they made those horses talk. They actually had a wire or something where they would oh, pull, Lord, pull they on shock them. his mouth. No, oh, okay. no, 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 no. It was just like a uh, some kind of wire uh, appliance that did that. Because I, I had heard that they actually. The, the bit that he had in his mouth, the, you know, whatever they call that thing that they, yeah, you know, it's a bit, yeah. that yeah. Uh, was electrified and it would make his mouth do that. I don't Twitch. think so. No. I don't I think don't. so. But, you know, it was before all, all the animal rights stuff. Now it's well, all computer well, they, generated. They, anyway. they, they used to have in Chinatown, my fi- one of my favorite things. Hmm was the dancing chicken of Chinatown. Did you ever see that? I, I did. Yeah. I remember that. And and you would go in there and there was this chicken <clears throat> and he was so brain damaged that any time you would look like you were gonna put a quarter in, he would be like going batshit. Why? Because he knew that at the end of his dance he would get some corn and then he would go back into the other part of the cage. So you put a quarter in. And a door opens, and the chicken goes onto this platform where he, the music starts. He pulls a little lever, and music starts playing, and he starts moving his feet like crazy. Well, it wasn't until later I found out it's because the goddamn thing was electrified. <laughs> oh. Now, was this a chicken or was this a rooster? This was a chicken. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't, I don't it think was, it was a rooster. It was the dancing a, chicken of know. Chinatown, my favorite, my favorite act of all time. <laughs> I remember Because if it was a rooster, you could say it was a dancing cock. It, yes, right. <laughs> but, but no, it was a dancing... And I could make my dick, dick dance, too. If the, it was know, the dancing chicken of Chinatown, out. and I got to tell you, he, I, I, every time I was in Chinatown, I had to go down and throw a quarter in there just to see him dance. There uh, was supposedly a chicken that could play tic-tac-toe again. Oh, oh, no, wait a minute. I played, remember that? Yeah, I remember. I, that's what I was trying I to remember. There were more than one chicken. There right? was a chicken that played tic-tac-toe, and that little fucking son of a bitch always beat me. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I don't you know, know how, I think I, I, that didn't start first. Right. I don't know how no, it worked. Have corn. I don't know how <laughs> it worked. You start in the center square, and you always, you know, you do. You either... you. You can almost win or at least tie, you know, or, or, or if you know where to start. Yeah, you know, but there's, uh, there was go. something about it, but he always <laughs> fucking won, and, and and it really makes you feel like shit, you know, <laughs> that, that a chicken <laughs> yep. is doing that to you. you oh, that's funny. It, it, I, I, uh, and then I would go over and torture the dancing chicken. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then I would say, take your uh, frustrations out. Is there any way I can take these chickens home and just have them for dinner? You know, <laughs> because be I, the toughest bird you ever ate. Well, it's got to be they use different chickens all the time. That, you know, the, it, there was no training involved in this thing, but there was something, some way in which he played tic tac toe and he knew which one to hit. Maybe it was something you know, with corn in it or feed or something. Mm-hmm. You know? You know, that it could be it, Alex. It has a little bit of feet in each one, and he knows which one is okay. That one has the uh, corn, yeah. that one has something yeah. else. You know, that's how he does it. You ever watch him make uh, Madeline Duck down in Chinatown? How these have the ducks sitting there hanging in the windows? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was at the, yeah, the hanging ducks there. Yeah. yeah. Then somebody goes, I could eat something like that. That's gross looking. It's all oh, shriveled God. and shit. I used to hate looking at those ducks hanging in the, in the mirror. In the they get the heads. They get the heads still on, on there. Hey, yeah. It looks the great looks while they looking. Run. Luckily, yeah. we've run out of time. And we haven't. We really <laughs> tr- we tried to get into politics tonight. But we just. We, we would have had to take it in kicking and screaming. Uh, and I missed it all. Oh my I, God! Well, no, I think we're just. <laughs> I think we're. I'm a good, I, I think we're. We're getting tired of of uh, the, uh, you know we're getting tired of the whole politics thing. It's just I it, talk more politics at the bar tonight than I saw here. <laughs> probably, probably. Yeah. Hey, listen. Uh, thank you uh, to every one of you. I want you to know that you should have yourself a nice weekend. That is an order, Jeff. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Ryan, thank you. Scott, thank you. Mike, thank you. And John Rockwell, thank you for coming back from those beers to spend a little bit of time with us. Everybody, wave to everybody else. 
and say... I might bother Jack. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, to do it, please. Call Jack. If I had trouble yeah. tonight, he's gonna, he's it's going to be miserable for him. Anyway, right. wave everybody and say goodbye. Bye. Good night. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's, uh, that's those guys for tonight. And uh, that's us for this week. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow. No, well, uh, Tuesday. Same time. Same station in life. And uh, stay tuned for the Ramble, which is next over most of this same gab net. Uh, in the meantime, uh, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.